Hi, I'm Stuart, and welcome to Sarnet Television. As I ruffle the paper in front of the camera crew here, we're going to be looking at a demo that Chris is doing in another section of the studio. It is a P flash. I have to look at the script there. A P flash demo, and Chris is going to show it to us right now. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. Here is Wheel and Engineering's P flash module. It's a unit that's designed to tie in with the Pioneer family of LED light fixtures. They're designed for scene lighting, come in various sizes and looks. So there is the Slimline series, the Nano series, the Micro series, the Pioneer, and the Pioneer Plus. Come in different looks, different sizes, different intensity ranges, depending on your application. All of them can be tied into the P-Flash module. What this will do is allow your fixtures to not only illuminate the scene with steady burn, but it will allow them to become part of your warning system and put them into a flashing sequence. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is demonstrate the module, how a Pioneer will plug into it, how the ports work for steady burn and the flashing, and I'll also take you through several of the flash patterns that it offers. So you can see firsthand demonstration, how easy it is to tie this module in to new lighting or your existing lighting of the Pioneer Whelan family. Module itself, full epoxy seal. So with that, you can have it in a storage compartment, under a seat, or on the main electronics array in the rescue fire apparatus or PD application, or anything beyond that. Anywhere that you have these, you can use the module. There's a main plug, as you can see here, that's for a lead and ground. The harness here comes with the flasher. Ports here are a sink, a scan lock, a flash, and a steady burn. So with that, we'll tie in here, tie into the port, I'll adjust the flash patterns through the scan lock post, and the sink will allow you to take multiple P flashers, tie them together so you can have your lighting flashing in sequence, or if you'd like, you can tie in other Whelan light heads that have the sync function. So for example, if this is on the front of the vehicle, you happen to have Whelan ions that are syncable, you can tie them into the sync function. That way you can have your warning set up to your preference, alternating or a back and forth or simultaneous where everything's going together. So up to yourself, but a nice function that's put in here. Ports on the top will correspond to the lead and to the ground for the light heads themselves. So nice function with the flasher is on the harness for your Pioneer. In this case, this happens to be a slimline dual and each fixture inside can be controlled independently. So in this case, four trigger wires, two leads, two grounds. The other Pioneers will vary depending on which model you happen to have. So in this case here, I'm going to tie in to two ports on the outputs for the light head portion. So to get started, and go ahead, take the main connection, plug it into the module here, locks in place nice and tightly, and if you need to release it, go ahead, push in on the tab, unit comes free. As you can see also, post extensions on the side here, so easy to mount. The flasher itself is labeled corresponding to the posts. On the top here, a bit tighter in for the ground connections and more spaced out for the four lead posts. It does look like this post here, with it being this close, is part of the ground sequence, but it is part of the four post series that corresponds to the positive outputs. So again, when you're doing your tying in with your trigger wires, make sure that you're putting positive to positive posts, negative to negative posts. So in this case here, go ahead, get my wiring rearranged, take the lead connection here, tie it into 1A, and with that, I'll tie in the corresponding ground to 1A as well. The other, I'll tie in the ground to 2A, and the other lead to the corresponding two-way. 
And with that, I'll go ahead and have the camera zoom in so you can see where the A and the B, the one and the two is coming from. So easy ID for connecting the pioneers to the ports. Also, as you can see, positives here, negatives here. So with that, the Pioneer is now hooked up to the flasher. So no need to tie these in to another wiring array in the application. Go ahead, take a set of alligator clips here. This will then provide the main ground and the main lean connection for the flasher module itself. The next port sequence I'll show you, I'm gonna use a set of trigger wires that I've put together with ends on them here. So I can go ahead, slide onto the study, and with that, put it to a positive 12 volts. As you can see, steady burn function. Take my other trigger here, put it onto the flash post, with this connected, again, to a positive 12 volts, back and forth for the flashing. And again, I'll show you how you can adjust the flash pattern to suit your application to the preference that you desire. So again, steady, separate trigger for the flash. So as you can see with that, tying in to the controller in your application, trigger wire for steady, trigger for flash, so two buttons there. So now that I've shown you the steady burn trigger and the flash trigger, I'm also gonna show you how the module has a steady burn override function that's built right into it. So with that, I'll go ahead, take the wire here, put the unit on, make it flash away. When I take the steady burn trigger, overrides to steady burn. Take it away, back to flashing, again, overrides it. So a nice function for you. So when you arrive on the scene, you can just go ahead, hit your scene lighting, and this will go ahead, disengage from warning mode, put you into illumination mode. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is show you several of the flash patterns that you can go ahead, set up your pioneers to. So with that, just going to go ahead, take the wire that I have here running from the steady post and tie it over to the post corresponding to the scan lock. So fixture on, flashing away. Go ahead and take the trigger wire. Again, with Whelan, the scan lock needs to be fed a positive 12 volts to advance the pattern. I'm just gonna go ahead and run you through several of them here. So that way you can see how if you have the dual slim line here, or again with the ports having multiple sets, if this was a single fixture, so one single pioneer, Another single pioneer, again, tying both the triggers onto the ports will allow for the same effect. So they'll alternate back and forth or simultaneous flashing. Again, set to your preference. So as you can see, changes just like it would if you were adjusting the warning for your light heads, ions, 600 series, V series, any of your wheel ins. So with that, the sync function, you can take the 
pattern for your light heads, tie them in so they'll mimic the pattern on your Pioneers. So there you have it. A look, Whelan Pioneer Flasher. Again, it's a four outlet, so tying in any of the Pioneer series family to it. You can tie in one head, tie in two, tie in four, or if you have to go even further, take another flasher, you can sync them together so everything will have a nice proper display for you. Offers the steady burn, flash override, easy ID outputs, and again, the Pioneers plug right into the flasher. So install, very easy to do. I'm Chris, thanks for joining me here on SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. A P flash demo. You saw it here on SirenNet. We do appreciate you watching. I'm Stuart. Have a great day.